Hey yo what's up guys, this is Alias and in this video I will show you how to make these really cool looking 2D shockwave motion graphic animations in After Effects and yeah this tutorial is a part of a bigger series where I will show you a lot of really easy motion graphic animations in After Effects and I'll leave a link in the description but otherwise I'd say let's go. So let's add a new composition and first of all just let's make a background and now press right click in here and just add a new shape layer and open it up and go to the add button and select ellipse so we'll get a nice circle and we can also add a stroke effect and let's just give it something like 10 so we can actually see the stroke and let's animate this thing so just go to the beginning open up the ellipse path and change the size to zero and place keyframe and then just go forward like one and a half seconds and just scale it up to yeah something like this and yeah now you can see it just goes this way but this doesn't look like an explosion so let's first of all open the graph editor with this button and select the size and click on it again so we will just select all this and now we can press this easy ease button on the right so we can edit these things and just bring this up and what this does is just it makes it go fast at the beginning and then slow down so it will look more like a shock wave just like this this is good and yeah let's also animate the stroke so let's just go to the end or right short before the end so right before the size ends just something like here and yeah turn on the stroke wideness to zero and place a keyframe and then just go like right in the middle of the whole thing and just bring it to your preferred size something like this and maybe let's bring this keyframe even more forward and now we can see this cool effect and yeah this looks really nice but we also want it to not be this boring so let's give it a turbulent displacement effect so just look for turbulent displace and apply it on the shape layer and yeah this does this so yeah let's also play around with a few settings in here so just go to the beginning and place a keyframe at evolution and then go to the end and just put in one in here so it will move a bit more just like this and yeah this is already it basically we can now duplicate this thing with ctrl d and press s to yeah play with the size so we will get different sizes we can also yeah just play around in the timeline so they start in different time frames and also move them around a bit to wherever you like and scale it however you like and yeah that's it basically we can just do this more often and yeah that's it make sure to check out the playlist that i link in the description so you can watch more really easy and nice motion graphics tutorials but for this one we're done so thanks for watching